Recently, thousands of Arab men sexually attacked, humiliated and raped hundreds of women. All women are fair game. I called the perpetrators testosterone bombs. We have seen what they are capable of. It's sexual terrorism, a sexual jihad. And it is happening all over Europe. In the Netherlands, Germany, Sweden, Austria. Everywhere where they let in hundreds of thousands of mostly single men from a culture of oppression of women. Everywhere where irresponsible open door politicians such as Prime Minister Rutte and Chancellor Merkel rolled out a red carpet for these testosterone bombs. Everywhere we are now confronting a rape epidemic. It's a disaster which could have been avoided, should have been avoided, but was not avoided. And in many countries, the authorities try to keep the terrible news hidden, but they no longer succeed in doing so. The genie is out of the bottle. In the Netherlands and the rest of Europe, people are right to be angry and afraid. People are justifiable angry. Thousands of Dutch women have serious questions about their own safety. Who will protect me? Thousands of Dutch men worry greatly about the safety of their wife. Who will help them? Ask themselves thousands of Dutch parents that are afraid about what might happen to their daughters. Who watches over them? Horrible mass assaults, such as in Cologne, can also happen here in the Netherlands. And it's time to finally face the truth. The perpetrators come from a culture where women are inferior beings, a culture of honor killings and humiliation of women, a culture established by a so-called prophet who had sex slaves and raped a nine-year-old girl called Aisha. It's time to face that truth about Islam as well. And anyone, anyone who looks away is guilty. It is becoming increasingly clear. Prime Minister Rutte, Mrs. Merkel and all the other politicians of Europe who refuse to close their borders abandon our women and daughters and are therefore partly responsible themselves. The Party for Freedom is very clear. We have to close our borders for all asylum seekers and all immigrants from Islamic countries. But as long as this does not happen, as long as our women are endangered by the Islamic testosterone bombs, I propose that we lock the male asylum seekers up in the asylum centers. For them, the asylum centers have to be closed institutions so that not a single male asylum seeker can still go on the streets and our women finally are protected.